Hello everyone and welcome. So how can museums be more accessible and just more open to vulnerable visitors? So especially visitors with disabilities, with mental health problems, um, also dementia is becoming a bigger and bigger thing, elderly people, people with mobility problems and so on. Um, there are a lot of museums and heritage sites already doing a lot of things, but very often it's not really about doing a lot uh, or trying to make space for everything. A lot of the time it's a matter of um, your mentality around it and actually keeping it very simple. And there are some very simple things that museums can do to just become a little bit more accessible and then very often a lot of other things will follow along as well. So I thought we should have a look at some very, very basic things that museums can do to be more accessible around visitors that might be a little bit vulnerable. As always, if you like the content of these videos, please remember to like them, subscribe to the channel and add your comments below. Now, a very basic thing is simply prepare and train your staff. Um, it can be overwhelming to face someone with, for example, dementia um, or a specific disability, whether it be physical or, or mental. These people face all sorts of challenges, physical challenges, emotional challenges, communication challenges, memory loss, and so on and so on. But you don't need to be an expert or have the right equipment to address everything. But if you show an understanding for vulnerable visitors and for their behavior, for their emotions, their reactions, and know that sometimes these can be extreme or different to what people with, with, with none of these things um, uh, might express or might communicate, then you have actually come a long way. So listen to your staff. There will be members of your staff that already have experience uh, uh, with, for example, people with, with dementia uh, and how they react and so on. And they might have some in their closest family uh, that, that they can uh, relate their experiences to. But prepare your staff in the best possible way for how these particular groups of visitors might react and, and what they need. Remember that um, people with various disabilities or just vulnerable groups, they have a story, so let them share it. Now, elderly people with dementia, for example, people with disability uh, problems, um, they have been through a lot through life. And they have something to say and add uh, to whatever it is you're trying to do. So make sure that they can. Let them engage. Create spaces, groups, communication platforms and so on for them to share and participate. Um, lots of places are experimenting with like dementia programs or specific storage space tours, discussion groups. Be a place where they can connect with others. That does not just make you more accessible, it also, also opens you up as a space for uh, communication on a completely different level and for a very, very different uh, group of, of, of visitors. Use yourself as a place where you can raise awareness. Um, as a museum, you have a part to play in raising awareness and in being an active player for these groups. If they can't come to you, arrange for talks, visits um, to nursing homes, uh, wh wherever it is, and come to them. You, you can't obviously bring your entire museum to them, but you can give them an experience. So be a place where others can learn about their world and where other visitors can learn how to understand the needs of vulnerable visitors a lot better um, in your actual space, physically, on your uh, uh, online di digital communication platforms and also outside your actual museum or, or, um, or institution or heritage sites. Uh, be a place and an institution, an organization where you have a role and a, and a responsibility in raising awareness as well and in bringing people together. Um, listen to their story, give them a place where where they can, can add their story and they can communicate with each other and they can create their own types of networks as well. Uh, because very often they 
uh, they need that more than other visitor groups do. Uh, they might not have a space for this kind of thing. And if you can be a space for that, at, and at the same time, of course, uh, communicate your story and your history, then it's a win-win for everyone. It can be really difficult to sometimes deal with uh, special groups or visitors and different types of needs. Uh, but I sometimes think sometimes think we're trying to do we, we're making it a bit too complicated sometimes either by trying to do too much or being too specific in how we approach this and very often it doesn't actually require that much um, it requires a lot of understanding and a little bit of training and experience and with that alone you can really get uh, you can go a long way as a museum and as a heritage site if you have any thoughts and experiences around this, then please do share.